Hi, I am Ashok Kumar. In this episode, we are going to learn the Fabric SDK again. So what's up with new episodes? So we are going to learn digits integration, which is one time password third party service, which is going to be amazing in this episode. And I'm really sorry for uh, giving a strong gap after our last video submission uh, had a lot of occupation in the work and I was occupied a lot and I was not able to come and sit in front of my PC and today is Sunday and I'm giving my time so let's get started so for this I have already code submitted to the github repository you can go and download it in Ashok SLSK forward slash twitter hyphen fabric hyphen digits hyphen integration so this is the url so once you download or clone this to your workspace so you are good to go with your uh, all con all uh, configuration so i have already configured everything all you need to do is get your own secret and twitter keys so let's get started I haven't even started android studio let me start it so basically what this Twitter digits does, it sends an SMS with an OTP password where user should be entering a next screen. And once if that's done, he'll be authorized. So this is how that OTP screen looks. But don't worry, this is not a web view or this is not anything else. This is totally a native version of Twitter digits where you don't need to worry about designing all this, but you can customize this however you want. So pretty easy work. And this is how confirmation sends by Twitter. So all this codes and uh, all the snippets has been documented in the same repository. You can watch the video or you can follow the document. You should be able to definitely configure it. So let me start off with Android Studio by creating a new project. Okay, so let's get started. So start a new project, give it a name, give it as whatever you wish. I will name it as Twitter OTP and uh, make sure your package name is something unique like shokaslsk.com or com.shokaslsk.com Twitter OTP and select the minimum SDK version. I prefer 15 API level 15 because it occupies about 97% of devices and things like that. And choose empty activity, guys. If you have upgraded your Android Studio to 1.4 and above, you have to choose empty activity, otherwise. You'll be getting an unnecessary fragments in your code and unnecessary floating button where you'll not be doing anything out of it. So create an empty activity and that's it. So I'll give time to create. Create it. Okay, so it's still indexing. That's okay. And we are good to go. We have our uh, project created and we have our Gradle scripts and everything ready. Uh, Okay, still indexing. It's created and all we need is a simple create, simple project just like this. And uh, our main activity and our app code and our manifest. So in the earlier build, the plugin was configuring all this by on itself, but over the time uh, Android Studio restricted it so that that's the reason they have their own solution right now so we have to copy all the code by ourselves so copy this paste it into your cradle this is build script dependency so you can place after the Android plugin and that is totally fine so you have to paste this io.fabric which is the uh, 
plugin which needs to be applied and you may have to call the maven repository for this because that's that's where twitter stores its code and that after that you have to call this code where twitter fabric is going to be integrated so after that go to manifest copy this meta key with this is this will be particular to this project so make sure you are not copying the same package because this id is being generated based on this package address as well so make sure you are not doing the same key copy to another project oh i did a mistake here never copy metadata from the application scope so keep the metadata inside the application scope okay so we are good to go but before that i would like to copy my keys from twitter fabric so that's what i'll do and and their initialization so i'll do it before i call my set content view okay so now sync and give it give it perfect uh, synchronizing time and it will definitely be done just a minute back my gradle sync is completed and the twitter sdk fabric sdk has been configured to this particular project and you can see all this classes has been imported on its own so so that means we are good to go so we can now go to our um, xml and just write a simple digits auth button so that that would be like com dot digits dot stk dot you have to follow the same path otherwise you will end up by getting some error yeah odd button android id i'll give it as odd button okay and what then width and height so that's it so make sure so this is the preview so it's still syncing so it has rendering issues with that but that's okay but when you compile you should be able to see a nicely designed button and uh, nicely designed uh, third party otp service okay let's get started with our uh, application what we need to do is we need to write a simple code for callbacks so for that we have to write one class called called authenticate just anything on your choice and extend this to application so once it is done create one private instance of auth callback from twitter so call it as auth callback so next override on create method super then after you are creating the on create you may have to call twitter 
auth config class and create its constructor config this new Twitter auth config you have to pass two parameters to this and that would be this two so go here place that and copy the Twitter key first press a comma and copy the Twitter secret key here press comma that's it after that make a call with fabric dot width with the context context should be this and give a new twitter core then pass this auth config to the twitter core then create a new digits then use this auth callback then create its new auth callback and it will create its two callbacks and you can close it by a simple semicolon so on success you'll get one callback on failure you'll get one callback so on success what you need to do is do something on failure you may have to do something so in success call digits authenticate you have to pass two things one would be the same callback other one would be your phone number so enter with the country code so that will help twitter to send the verification code so after that i have we have to call one auth callback get auth callback then return the auth callback so that's it our application which is authenticate is configured and make sure you are entering that in manifest so application is the entire application scope so it needs to be addressed like this so application is ready in the main activity all we have to do is so just address the xml button so that is let me be a little quicker so just i have entered this two lines of code which does the math or magic for us so just initialize the digits auth button which we have declared in the manifest file i mean xml file activity underscore main xml file then in the same button set the callback to the authenticate application that we have uh, wrote just five minutes back and get get the context and get the callback method that's it so we are good to go so let me compile it i'm compiling it
So this is the device. So I recommend you guys to test it in the real device because so this is never going to work out in emulator. So the SMSs that is being sent by Twitter will not reach your emulator. So you can use emulator just to test whether things are working or not. Otherwise, uh, I recommend you guys to use real device. So enter your phone number. then ask for the send confirmation code that's it i have received a new sms by twitter asking for the new confirmation code so that's it so if you enter here then on success method you if you guys want to do anything you can do it in the uh, application or you can handle the same context here by the setting the callback directly so I have that as a repository in my github just go and check out so this is how you guys configure the Twitter third-party service OTP verification to your device Thank you for watching guys, please do like and subscribe and comment on the videos and ask your friends to do the same thing.